Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a Python interview question. So this is the first Python based video I'm creating. Let me know in feedback. How is it? Is it the process of explaining the problem is good like in SQL or you want some other way? Okay, so without wasting time, let's start. So here's the question. The question says we have write a function to validate if a string is a valid IP address or not. So there will be a string given and we have to validate it is a valid IP address or not. A valid IP address should be in the form of this. So a valid IP address will have four digits. First digit, dot, second, third, fourth, right? Where x1, x2, x3, x4 should be numbers between 0 to 255, right? So basically if you see, we have to check three things. First is, first is we have to check there four digits only right second thing we have to check if it is a number or not because it can be a digit uh, sorry it can be a alphabet also like a b right so we have to check it's a digit okay and third thing we have to check if it's a digit then is it between 0 to 25 or not uh, 0 to 255 right so these three things we have to check okay so this is my function in this function, one argument will be passed, right? So this is how the functions will be called. So this is, I'm just printing. So the, I'm calling this function. And in this function, I'm passing a string. Okay. So this function will be called and the, the, the argument will be passed to this function. And then we will see if it's a valid IP address or not. Okay. If it's valid, we have to return true. If it is not, then we have to return false. Okay. So let's start. So what I'm going to do, first of all, we will make a list of it. Okay. So if there's a string, okay, we can split it and convert into a convert into a list. How I can do it? I will show you. So let's say I have this string. Okay. This is a console and I will do split. I want to split it on dot, right? If I do this, See, it is converted into a list and I can iterate over this list. Okay. I hope it is fine. Right. So let me do this L. So now L is my list. Okay. And I can check length of this, uh, this list also. So if I do length, so it will tell there are four elements. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I will do, uh, let's say, uh, IP list equal to s uh, the the string that we are passing dot split split on dot okay so i am splitting on dot so it would have become this now okay now what i am going to say i am putting a if condition if length of ip list if the length of our list is not equal to 4 right it can be 3 it can be it can be five or more right it should be equal to four so if it is not equal to four i will return false right straight away i don't have to check anything right and the moment i return false this function will end and it will return false after return there will be no processing further we will not go to next step in the function it will just return and exit okay so wherever there is a problem i will just return false if there is no problem this function will go till end and return true okay so this is my first condition that if length is not equal to 4 then return false fair enough now if it is a if it is a four four proper there are four elements in this list then i have to iterate one by one to each element so for that we can use for loop for and in IP list right this is my list so what it will do it will go to one by one element so n n will go to first element so this is my string let's say so n will go to first element which is 255 right or let's say here right so this is my list so when i say n in ip list it will run four times first time n value will be x1 second time x2 x3 x4 right for n in IP list, I'm going to check if n dot 
is digit right i am going to check if it is a digit or not so this is a inbuilt python function it will tell me if it is a digit or not if it is not a digit okay if it is not a digit so i will say equal to equal to false so this function will return if it is a digit or not so let me show so four dot is digit right so it is returning true because it's a digit let me pass something else a it is returning false right so i am saying if it is false which means it is not a digit then return again the moment you see this return false right so again for each element it will check the moment if any one of the element is not a digit at that moment it will return false and that's it we are done okay if everything is fine so all are true right one by one we are checking if everything is fine then what we are going to do we will check if the number is between 0 and 255 or not right so what we are going to do we will say so currently this n is a string i have to convert it into int to check the number right so i will say if int less than 0 or int n greater than 255 these two conditions are both wrong right so i will again say return false right and this is your function right so let's try one by one so i'm just passing this i'm calling this function is valid ip and i'm passing this string so this string is fine because everything is within 0 to 225 and there is no other issue so if i done this it is returning true it means our function is working fine now let me pass something else so i am passing this here you see it is more than 255 so it should return false so it is returning false for first one it is returning true and then false right again what i am doing i am passing minus 2 which is again a problem so it will again return true false false right now what i am going to do i am clearing this and i am taking another example where i am passing five numbers right this is again a problem there should be only four right so again false 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 and this is the last one where we don't have a digit it is an alphabet again it will fail here right so let me run this so it is again false so it means our function is working fine we tested all the use cases you can try with more use cases let me know if the the process of explaining the problem is good python point of view because mostly i have made sql videos and do like the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel uh, i'm using spider uh, I will put the in the link box uh, the spider link. You can use that or you can use any other programming uh, platform. Okay. Thank you.